Talking Syracuse football with John Casillo. Please join him at uh, Noon's Magician, the SB Nation platform for Syracuse Athletics. He has a ton of coverage on the ACC and Syracuse, of course, as well. Uh, let's look at the recruiting process. Uh, Jim Beheim's name was mentioned at AC Me ACC Media Days. Uh, he would be a good guy to, to get on the recruiting trail because of his success down through the years. But different to recruit uh, 105 players to fill up a roster in football. Uh, some recent recruiting news hasn't necessarily been the best. Not that Dino Babers isn't uh, recruiting well and, and doing the work, but there's always going to be a few guys that uh, – turn the wrong direction so that that's been the recent case yeah i mean we unfortunately lost uh between you know last year one of our three-star defensive end jaquan nelson is no longer on the team and then uh, mike Kelty williams who was a juco transfer um actually was at notre dame his freshman year um, he won't make it to campus this year but you know on the positive end uh, we've been able to pick up uh, a few three stars on the defensive end we still have a uh, four-star center uh, tyrone sampson um, out of uh, the Detroit area, who was actually over at the opening finals um, last month. So we have some solid momentum going in this year's recruiting class, but obviously, um, you know, that's all well and good until you make sure they're on campus. And um, it's way far out, so we don't have to necessarily worry about that just yet. But hopefully, you know, the, the big names that we have so far, I think we have 11 or so for 2018, can make it on campus come next year.